Yes? Count Kurt Dysart. Are you here regarding the Comrade? Wanted to hire a Witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the School of the Cat. Which do you belong to? School of the Wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. So his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now, I've learned, the building is set to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Is the key. And good luck. Shit in your stupid trunk. Building shaking, but a spectre would have attacked me already. Inhabitant clearly left in a hurry. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. No one's been here in a while. Any ordinary plant must be magic. Hmm, looks like a journal. Pretty powerful too. Gotta go deeper. Need to open the passage somehow. Something clicked. Almost managed to break its magic bonds. A few days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around.
house shouldn't give you any more trouble. A little renovation that should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Earth Elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. And the cellar you mentioned, is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. Welcome, Master Witcher. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Of course, of course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked them. I'll take the job. This logger, where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. Welcome, traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. Fucking knock back a few so's my mates will race peaceful. Something plowed them up good, but I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to curse. Talk to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No blicker. We tried to explain some horror was prowling the forest. He refused to believe it. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what I said. Good man, Breen. Though a halfling. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? We were making our way out of the forest, loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl, like a wolf's pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel got stuck. Magnus Rector hollered that I should run to the hut for the crossbows, so I ran, come back to the woods. Bloody plowing massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks, really helpful that. Kill the bugger! Will you? Logger's hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road. Probably towards their clearing. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. A dwarf went this way. Roots pinned this one to the ground. So hard he suffocated. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry. And strong. Everything says Leshen. A young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve Leshens. Should find some near the totem. Mission's birds. False trail. Hmm. 
ordinary ravens looks like. No sign of a totem. Not a mission's birds. False trail. Lo and behold, a lesson's totem. Now, to destroy it. Piss it off, make it leave its lair. Welcome, Master Witcher. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain, no other Leshen will show. It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a Witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. Hmm. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creatures attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plough in war to win. I haven't got the time to clean gutters. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. I'd like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Oh, will you buy a round for a victim of the beast? Tell me about the monster, how you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. 
See, I'd rather you stayed sober while we talked. Bought yourself that bottle later. Have it your way. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. But I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. Couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the enemy's skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! The bracelet. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it, most likely. You the medic? I'd like to see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites and the strong stench of alcohol, just like the other one. Fondness for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies, everything suggests a catacan. Except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. Don't believe me either, do you? Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Wanna get drunk off my ass? And it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass? Or did your enterprise go under? Neither. Just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Sure. And keep it coming. Once was a maid from Vicar. Tomorrow, tight at night she'd be loose tomorrow, early in the morning. Another maid from Vicovaro, plowed with pleasure, oh. drank with sorrow, till early in the morning. Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. Our third maid was not a hand. Gave it up to any man standing her lie in the morning. What's the meaning of this? Such rudeness and vulgarity. Oh, people these days. All right, all right. Sheesh. I sense your blood. Come out and fight, bitch. Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. 
You speak true. But what on earth's a catacat? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long. Where you think you're going, Mucker? Why do you even care? You're in the military operation zone. And our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay! Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witcher'd make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. Watch your step! Watch your step! In a hurry! Leave me be, you wreck! Oh, the stench of rotted teeth and vodka! What the devil? Leave her alone. Why's that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Let the woman go. Then we can flirt. Look at that! Vagrant Mutt's giving us orders. Needs to know his place. Fuck him up! That's it, you're in for it! Murder! it's your way. Are you next? Discretionary tribute to benefit. Sure. Yes. How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? We can. Well, let's have a name then and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, but the Hoi Polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! <laughs> Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but that is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. 
everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. All right. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, she said I'd get my throat slit in Novigrad. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> what? Playing tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, mutant. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By closed, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all, along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and... Achoo! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time, that's what matters. So, how did you fare in the first round? Not bad. Guessing you won too. I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk. Had an altogether decent hand, but... Might have had a hard time concentrating. Hmm. Care to finish this conversation in private? I have a proposition for you. Meet on the terrace upstairs. All right. Hmm. Alone at last. What did you want to talk about? A cartload of coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. 
Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know, without bothering the others. <laughs> As propositions go, this is not exactly what I was expecting. You don't seem like a... Thief? True, it's not my day job. Which is why I could use some help. Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need. Or so I heard. Who do you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable. So long as the cause is just. Fine. Let's say I help you. I'll split the coin with you, of course. Split? What if I win the tournament? I shall have another proposition for you then. What's the plan? I shall tell you all when the time is right. For now, just stay alert. And if you are eliminated, stay till the tournament's end. It'll be worth your while, you'll see. All sounds pretty mysterious, but fine. Excellent! Now that's settled, let's rejoin the others. Time for round two. Your attention, please. Madam Sasha and Gilbert of Revia. Phineas and Harold Featherbuns. Shoo! We wish you a pleasant match. May fortune smile on you always. I get no pleasure whatsoever from easy victories. So I should be very angry if you let me win. Don't plan to. Curious about that other proposition, though. Hmm. Well, I hope your luck holds. Ladies and gentlemen, the third round. The heat is on. The nearest round's winner will face Count Tybalt himself in the final. <coughs> Phineas and Gerard of Rivia. Achoo! I'll not play a mute. Are we to understand you forfeit this round? Fine. In that case? No, I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. A good match to you both. Please remember the tournament rules. No magic, no quarrels. Play. The mutant cheated. I'll gouge those devilish eyes out with my bare hands. Played. Congratulations on both your victories. I'd wanted to summon the guards initially, but... Yeah, it's better I took care of it. Please, join me for the final. I must admit I did not expect this outcome. There's a rather large sum on another player, in fact. Might have guessed there were multiple games going on. Let's begin. Great pleasure. The prize will be yours. Thief! The coin's gone. The guard's been stabbed. What? How is this possible? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Phew! We must scour the building. Anyone leaving must pass inspection.
before you ask, it wasn't me. Figured as much. An unexpected turn of events, but our agreement stands. We must try to recover the coin together. Agreed. Where do we start? We must get upstairs. Wait. I say, this Witcher is Captain Hansen's good friend. He could examine the crime scene. Charge only a trifling. A fee? But... We will, of course, collect it from the Captain personally. How is his injury from the other week? Has it healed yet? Well, I did it. Splendid. We shall go upstairs at once. Next time we see the captain, my lady, I'd um, appreciate your mention. That is all, good fellow. You may go. The Witcher requires absolute silence while he works. Mm, of course. That went well. Really know the captain? Yes, a horrid man. Come now, get to work. Blows delivered from a strange angle. Expert though, precise. Somebody dragged something heavy towards the terrace. Crossbow bolt. A line tied to it. Line's clearly been cut. Thief might have used it to lower the sack of coin. He'd need an accomplice waiting down below to grab it. Hmm. Something down there, but I can't make it out. Must have been one of the players. Lowered the coin down on the line, then strolled past the guards. Hmm. This was well prepared. Think you can track the culprit down? Don't know yet. I'll look in the street, see if I can find anything there. Same as the one tied to the bolt. Gonna have to look around. Where's that scent coming from? Cinnamon. Strange. I don't smell a thing. Faith in the power of this flame. Haste makes waste. Culprit lost this crate. Must have fallen off the wagon. Can you be certain this was the thief's? Crossbow under the packages. <laughs> Itching to crack a pun about every rosemary having its... I appreciate you resisting the impulse. Mm, I've seen this guild, Ma. It's a trading company's. One that imports spices from Zeracania. They have a storehouse at the docks. Northernmost one on this side of the port. Shall I meet you there? Sounds good. There are six inside. I wasn't able to get the door open. Gotta find another way in, then. Here's the wagon. Smell the cinnamon now? Ah, I was right about the warehouse. Try to get in through here. Lead the way. Which one's Hortensia? The tall one. Masquerade's done, Tully. Give us the coin. Masquerade? 
Well put. Been watching you from the start, sweetheart. Though I ought to admit, I thought you'd follow me alone. Told him who you are yet? No? I'm sure he'd love to hear it. Go on, tell him. Or I'll tell Hortensia to break your fingers. What's this about? It's about Madame Sasha swallowing my mushroom farming nonsense hook, line and sinker when she should have been more vigilant. So, will you tell him who you spy for? Or would you rather scream it out? Let go of her. Step away. One of you restrain him. Then make sure he gets a good view. Good work. I did not, in fact, suspect him, whereas he clearly caught on to me long ago. Halflings can be unpredictable. At any rate, we've succeeded. Now to divide the coin. Oh yeah. So what's this proposition that's supposed to convince me to share my winnings? No longer on the table. We retrieve the coin together. We shall divide it equally. Know what? Let's have dinner at the Kingfisher. My treat. To celebrate my last day in Novigrad. Heading back to Nilfgaard? That why you needed the coin? I see you miss very little. Still got a touch of an accent. Ah well. It seems I shall need a new trait anyway. I'm compromised in Novigrad, so... Eh. Who were you before you became a spy? I don't rightly remember anymore. But I suppose you can call me... Cantarella. That your real name? Well, almost. I'd love to. As it turned out, the blue-eyed prostitute was actually his sister. He couldn't believe it. Oh my. He asked me to see her again at the House of the Night, and then... Fascinating story. Shall we go upstairs? You can show me exactly how it ended. Some other time, maybe. I understand. Not all stories end the same way. In that case, I shall be off. Very nice to meet you, Geralt of Rivia. See you again, someday. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I. Her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Oh, did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had Captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. You Captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skelliger bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstun from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos? So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? 
No fucking clue, mate. <laughs> I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here. That enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Anchors away! Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Hard Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch that got croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port side today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Our time amongst the living! 
is but the wink of an eye. What's left? You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Longer. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? Of care trolls stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Hope we don't have to go to this wake. Well, we don't have to go. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see.
Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall.